Okay, this is going to be BC calculus, the BC calculus questions uh, 15 and 16. And um, in the first one here, it says the function f of x is x squared plus 5x minus 24 over x squared plus 10x plus 16. And they say, well, the limit as x approaches negative 8 of this function, what is that equal? Um, again, with any limit problem, the first thing you should try to do is plug in, um, you know, negative 8 into the top and negative 8 on the bottom. But you can check that if you do this, um, you're going to get 0 over 0. So there's kind of two different ways that you could approach this problem. Um, one thing would be to use L'Hopital's rule, if you've seen L'Hopital's rule, because we're getting 0 over 0. Another way would be simply to factor this. Um, so we have the limit as x approaches negative 8. Let's see, x squared plus 5x minus 24. I believe that's going to factor as x plus 8, and then x minus 3. If we factor um, the denominator, I believe that's also going to factor as, let's see, x plus 8 and x plus 2. Okay, so, well, we can simply cancel out our factors, and now we're just left with the limit as x approaches negative 8 of x minus 3 over x plus 2. Just plug and chug, we get negative 8 minus 3 over negative 8 plus 2 which is going to give us what, I guess, negative 11 over negative 6, or 11 over 6 as our answer. Um, you could have also done this with L'Hopital's rule, take a derivative, um, and then I think uh, you pretty much should be there as well. So, all right, um, a little bit easier than some of the other problems, the previous ones that we have did. Um, number 16, um, it says... It, it says basically we want an approximation for e to the third. So we want to know an approximation for that um, using a fourth degree Taylor polynomial um, centered at x equals zero. Okay, so here you just need to know some of your Taylor series expansions. You certainly wouldn't want to derive a formula for this. But remember, I can rewrite e to the x as 1 plus x to the first over 1 factorial plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus etc. This pattern just keeps continuing. Um, equivalently, you could write this as the summation from n equals 0 to infinity x to the n over n factorial. So that's the more compact way. Um, I guess let me plug in one more power here, plus x to the fourth over four factorial, um, and then it you know it keeps going on forever. Okay, well this is definitely some, uh, you know a formula you would want to know. The idea is you just basically go out until you have a degree four polynomial. So if I simply keep these first four terms, I'm going to have a degree um, four polynomial. So that's what we'll use to approximate um, e to the x, or in this case, e to the third. So it says, well, if we want to approximate e to the third, just replace your x with your 3. So it says e to the third will be roughly equal to um, 1 plus 3 over 1 factorial, um, 3 squared over 2 factorial, 3 cubed over 3 factorial, and then 3 to the 4th over 4 factorial. So a little, little smudgy there. And again, I have to change it to approximately equal because, well, I actually left off infinitely many terms. But this would be an approximation for e to the 3rd um, using your 4th degree Taylor polynomial. So again, this is one of these, basically, I would say either you know the formula or you don't. Um, I would go in there knowing also, um, you know, um, definitely a, a few other Taylor uh, expansions as well for sine x, cosine x, 1 over 1 minus x, um, and probably you can do most things that you need with those. So, All right, again, feel free to post comments and questions um, if you have them, and uh, if not, feel free to dig around and check out the other videos as well.